Ko hello la yahawa ba shim ya washa. Shalom and uh uh Yahawa Salaki Yahawa is the true name of the Heavenly Father who you people ignorantly call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Sha, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout out to the Octonist pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth who this word is going out to. And who's also uplifting the name Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Sha. To the Shalom to the confusion of faith, brothers and sisters out there whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, though you may look like one of the heathen nations, the heathen nations being all the other nations outside these 12 tribes, as you see on this chart. Same, if it's uh, lineage goes back to one of these tribes through the man, and if it's spirit, bear witness with this word and this truth. To the confusion of faith, brothers and sisters, okay, if these do apply, you are Israelites, though you do look like the other nations once again, okay. To the few Aquaf, once again, you sisters that do listen, learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth for this word is going out to, Shalom to you. As you see on this chart, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. And um, I got an article. Right there, this right here. I seen an article and um and this is what I seen. It's uh the Guardian, and you see this Edomite woman, okay? The Edomites are the self proclaimed white race, okay, who's in power, okay. That is their biblical nationality. It says her name is Twiggy, a woman in a black tuxedo with bow tie looks fabulous. And uh, that's the uh, that's going off according to the scriptures, okay? That's going off. The model, actor, and singer on her love of trouser suits and why she was the first well-known woman to uh, wear bro uh, brogues, okay? I've been wearing tuxedos for as long as I can remember. This is one of this is the one I wore for the album artwork on Romantically Yours, which I released in 2011. I wore it very masculinely, okay? And that's the thing, okay? It's That's another thing that's backwards, okay, in the society. You got, well, this is not about, you know, the women, but you got women, the women more masculine than the men out here, okay? That's also something else that's, uh you see on a high in the society. But continuing on, it says with the shirt and the undo, undone bow tie, but with little, a little bit of feminine, feminine, feminine. Femininity from the uh, the manti belt. I spend my life either in skinny jeans, which that's going off, or trousers. I love trouser suits, and the tux is just the dress up version of that. I just think they are elegant and really comfortable to wear. Every time you get invited to to a uh, black tie do, it's easy. It's so easy for men. They just put on a tux and bow tie. Meanwhile, women go through the uh, agonies of choosing a frock. I do sometimes wear dresses, but I often think, uh, oh, I'm just going to wear a tux. I think if you get a very beautiful woman in a black tuxedo with a bow tie, they look fabulous. And there's a reason why it's hard for you to, uh, okay? It's easy for a man to put that on because that's their appropriate wear. You are supposed to wear a dress, but this, of course, as you see once again, these, these, this is an Edomite, okay? They're the wicked, okay? So they're going to do whatever the hell they want to, okay? So um, that was that was just a, a portion of it. I don't really want to go into articles. It's not really that important, you know. Coming to reading it, uh, blue letter. This is a. Uh, let me see. Cause this is this is in the law, man. Okay. It's a lot of book, I believe, book of Leviticus. Leviticus. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's Deuteronomy. This is in the law. Okay? It says... And this is what you see going on around here. You got women wearing jeans. Okay? Hold on, let me get it. Just get it. Uh, let me see. This is Deuteronomy 25 and 5. 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all those that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy power. Okay? And that's the thing. You see women. You see that exactly happening in society. You see... Okay, women, okay, you see women wearing pants, you see women like you see in this, this even my woman, she's wearing a tuxedo, and you see that a lot, okay, shorts, okay, you see all that happening, okay, and you see men in this society, you see uh, uh, transgender men, or whatever the hell you are, okay, wearing, okay, high heels, a skirt, okay, Hair down their back. When you know it's talking about, you know, the uh, garments, which is their clothing. Okay. You see all that. You just basically see, okay, cross-dressing. You see what a woman's supposed to be wearing, a man has on in society. You see what a man has on in this, uh, a man's supposed to be wearing, a woman has on in society, man. Okay. This complete backwardness. Okay. Okay, this is Psalms. Hey, I started at 82 and 1. Yahweh standeth in the congregation of the mighty, he judgeth among the gods. Okay, and the gods are you Israelites. Okay, how will ye judge unjustly and set the persons of the wicked? Who's the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4. Okay, tells you that the nation of Edom is the wicked. Okay. It tells you also in Job 9, 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All that tells you, okay, that's that's all Esau right there, okay? He is the wicked, okay? Deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, and all the and all the foundation of the earth are out of course, man, okay? And what you what I just read you is one of the examples of this uh uh this world, okay, that we're in, because we're in the world of the Esau, okay, we're in Esau's world. Okay, he in his kingdom. Okay, it's out of course. Everything is out of course because I got this previously, but I'm gonna get it again. Isaiah 24 and 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away. The holy people of the earth do languish. Okay? Because it tells you also in Proverbs 29 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Why would uh uh, people rejoice when the uh, righteous is in authority because we're going to be pushing the law, statutes, and commandments, how everything's supposed to go, not, okay, this uh, disorderly conduct that Esau has set up on the planet Earth, man. Esau has all you people just going, have everybody, including I was once going off before I came in this truth, okay? He has the masses going off, including you Israelites, man, okay? And you Israelites are the right, supposed to be the righteous, man, but he got a majority of Jake going off. Because he's a uh, uh, transgress, like it said in the scriptures, Habakkuk two and five says he transgresses by wine and is a proud man. And the wine was his philosophies that he's tricked this whole entire planet on. Okay. All right, there we go. So what I was saying. All right, let me read it again. It says the earth. Mordeth and fade away, the world languisheth and fade away, the holy people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant. And you know who did that? Who, 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 once again, who was the earth giving it to the hands of? The wicked, Esau, Edom, okay? The so-called white man, okay? He is the power. His money is on the, uh, okay? Whose money is on the, um, faces on the dollar? Okay, the uh, uh, main currency, the uh, Federal uh, Reserve note, okay, which all the nations have to use in order to uh, uh, do do trade, okay. Who who faces on it, okay? That's that's right. That right there shows it, man, okay. 
But he's transgressed the laws, and you've seen that in the, the video. Okay? That's that's one of the main things, man. He's transgressed a, a bunch of many things. Everything in this book where it tells you not to do, he he's doing. Okay? Because he's the wicked. This ain't going to be long, so no more time, no limited time. Let me see. Uh, What was I going to get? It slipped my mind while I was talking. Okay. Actually, let me get that Isaiah 20. I think Isaiah 29. Take my glasses off. This is uh Isaiah 26. I always forget why is it always in that chapter. Okay. Isaiah 20. Um. Uh, I start the night first. With my soul have I desired thee and the night. Yeah, with my spirit with me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth and the Lord's judgments is in the earth. Okay, his name is Yahweh, by the way. You see people getting judged. Look at the uh, hurricane that's that's happening. Hurricane Dorian. Who you think's behind that, man? Okay. The inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet will he not learn righteousness? In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly and not behold the majesty of the Lord? And the majesty of the Lord is his law, statutes, and commandments. And his people. Okay. His people. And Esau, okay, is not doing that. Esau's doing what Esau wants to do. Okay? Because Esau thinks he is the most high. Okay? But no matter how hard, okay, you show this man a uh, favor, he's not going to do right, man. Okay? He's going to continue to do evil, just like it says in Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, how that uh, it says that leopard, can a leopard change his spots? Okay? And how the wicked are accustomed to do evil. Okay? And guess what? Let me see. Isaiah 29. I'm going to end it with here. I started the 15 verse. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? Okay? And this whole, okay, thing you see with this society, how it's being ran, okay, by the elites, who are also Edomites, they, uh, they're uh they're behind all this. They're behind the, okay, the perverseness and the backwardsness. The LGBT women wearing uh, clothes, whatever the, the hell they want, man. There's anybody having the mindset of doing whatever they want. They're behind that, okay. Do as thou wilt, as you like to say. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for the for shall the work of him that made it. Let me see. For shall the work say of him that made it. He may be not, or shall the thing frame say of him that frameth it, he hath no understanding. Okay? Let me see. So that's that's the thing. The point was, show you things, turn the things upside down, shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, man. Okay? So the Lord's going to come back, and he's going to flip, okay, everything, okay, back into the way it's supposed to be ran. Okay, that's why it talks about the uh, I started here. 
This is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but as long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but all that, that but that all should come to repentance. And like Acts 5 and 30 says, repentance is only for the children of Israel. Okay? It's only for the Israelites. And the only ones of the stock of the nation of Israel that's going to repent is the elect. Okay? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And the and the wish the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay, how is it going to melt with fervent heat? The Lord, the missiles that the Lord put the spirit on these uh, other nations to create, including America, that's what He's going to use. Okay, to burn this place up. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So everything you see, how the mindset, okay, how everything's set up in this society, it's all going to be burnt up, man. Okay, it's all gonna be gone now. Okay, especially this mindset. Okay, that do as thou wilt mindset that you people have on you. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening on to the coming of the day of Yahweh, when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwellers righteous righteousness. And that's what we're looking for. Okay, we don't want this no more. Okay, this 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 uh, uh way of living and thinking is a death style. It's a death cycle. Okay, it, it brings nothing. Okay, you you can't you can't continue and move uh, uh move in the society. Okay, if you get what I'm saying, you know I'm trying to get it out. Just know it's like a tongue twister. You can't function in a society that is in wickedness. These law sessions commandments are in this book for a reason. It's how you run the earth. It's how you have relationships. It's how people should dress. How people should eat. Okay? And if you're not running that, this that's death, man. Okay? It's a death style. It's not a lifestyle. But Esau, okay, deceived the nations once again. He has you people believing that this way of living is normal. Okay? It's not normal. Okay? You're anti Yahweh, you have a shot. That's what it is. Okay, and he knows it. They at least know it. Okay. Wherefore, beloved, this is the uh, 14th verse. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Okay. I think I hit the point. Now I could continue. I'll just read the rest of it. And account, and account the, that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul. Also, according to the wisdom, give give it unto him, hath he written unto you. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. And it's hard to be understood by the masses, including a majority of our people. They don't get it. Which they that are unlearned and unstable rust as they do also the other scriptures un unto their own destruction. Okay? Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in, in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh shall to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Okay? So we can't follow what these people are doing out here, man. Okay? The elect ain't going to uh, uh, follow, okay, the works of this world. Okay? They're going to, you know, it says... To use the world but not abuse the world, basically. You know, you get your daily bread, go to work, take handle whatever needs you got to handle. But as long as, like, you know, being caught up in this folly that you see, that's not that's not okay. Okay? So, that's a lesson. Call her Lord, like, Shalom to the hopeful elect.